everyone, it's me, Jen, from M Just Like You, and today I have a Chanel spring collection to show you guys. I am so excited because I am kind of tired of all this sickness and this winter. You know, the holidays was great, but just being able to think forward and look forward to the spring is so much better because I do like it when we can wear more pastel colors, um, pinks, corals, and stuff like that. So I'm excited to show you guys the spring collection for Chanel. Um, as always, Chanel surprises us with every collection that they come out with. And just like this one, I wanted to share with you guys so that you can make your decision and think about it um, before spring approaches so that you can have some time to decide if you do want to splurge on some of these items. So let's get started. I wanted to start out with um, their lip products first. I usually don't like their Glossomers just because I don't like all of that shimmer and frostiness. And I do usually go for more creamy textures for lip products just because I do have um, some wrinkles and some crevices that do accentuate when I wear um, frosty, shimmery, or glittery lip products. So three colors that are from the collection are these three. The theme is very corals and pink. And um, first one is this one in number 159. This is a very coral color that has gold shimmers. There's no point in just swatching this because it is so sheer on my skin. But if you were to put it on like a lipstick that is very pink, you can make it a little bit more coral. If you like lipsticks that are more um, pink, base but then with a little coral this would be a perfect gloss for it just because it gives you a little bit of that coral and it does have gold and silver shimmers that does pick up and then sh gives your lips look more fuller because it kind of just looks like it's more plumped so I do love this one um, but out of the three I don't think this is something that I would splurge on just because it doesn't show up as well on my pigmented lips but the cool part about these types of glossomers is if you look at in different lighting you can see different types of shimmers different particles that are different sizes and that's what makes it so special and gives you that effect you can't feel any of the shimmers on your lips while you have it on um, and it's not sticky it's very smooth and it's just a really great product formulation as it is the next color is in Bon Bon and this is a beautiful shimmery champagne that does have a little bit of a mauve and the champagne color is really beautiful I think for um, fair skin because it does pick up just a little bit of rosiness on your lips yet it does give you a nude effect so it's a beautiful color and with this one I find that it does have so um, no silver shimmers but only a a very gold sheen to it. The next one is my favorite out of the three and it is called um, Bagel Bagatelle and it's number 161 and it's this beautiful pink. It's very opaque and I do like it. The shimmers doesn't show up as much on your lips but when you see it in the tube it's very significant against any of the other glossomers. But I do find that um, you can't feel it on your lips. I'm actually wearing it by itself right now. And I really, really like it. Like, it doesn't um, look too shimmery, yet it gives you that fun and playful look. And another thing that I like about these Glossomers is that when you wear it, it actually kind of fills in your lips and it makes your lips look more younger if you do have those crevices. Rouge Coco Shine in number 69 and it's called Flirt. And as you know, the Rouge Coco Shine are the lipsticks that are very hydrating and balm-like. They are very similar to Dior Addicts as well as the Revlon Lip Butters. And this is a very coral color. It's a beautiful coral pink. And this one I will swatch for you right there. It doesn't show up as well on my skin because it is a sheer um, type of formulation, but it does show up well on the lips. And I think it's very comparable to the original collection and um, it's in Liberty number 46. This is my favorite ultimate coral lipstick. It's very similar but as you can see Liberty is over here which is very coral 
And this one is coral, yet it has more pink undertones. So if you like to wear more coral colors, but you like it to be more of a um, coral pink, then I would go with Flirt. And this is a limited edition color. Um, it actually really reminds me of um, Liberty, the lip gloss that they had that was a um, exclusive to Saks. Alright, so those are the lip products, and the next one I wanted to show you are their nail polishes. And their nail polishes that I picked up are June and May. I really like the fact that they named it after months in spring, such as April, May, and June. I did purchase the April one because it was a little bit too dark for me. It was kind of like a reddish purple, so I didn't really like that, but these two I fell in love with because they are cream, they don't have any shimmers, no sheen, nothing. They're very creamy, very shiny, and I love the colors. They are a perfect pastel color. Um, I'm going to start out with May. May is this beautiful pink color. It's a true pink. Um, would I splurge on this? I don't think I would because you can find a lot of dupes just because it's just a typical cool pink. But of course the quality is different and the color is just very by itself. True cool pink. It doesn't have too much coolness or too much warmness. It's similar to a very neutral pink. And I love the fact that it's a cream. And it's very similar when I first saw it. I was thinking, wow, that's so similar to last year's Morning Rose. So I have I have Morning Rose right here with me. So I'm going to show you the difference. So right here is Morning Rose, and right here is the new collection, which is May. And as you can see, the base color is extremely similar, but because Morning Rose has gold shimmers in it, it does kind of make the color more warm as well as kind of tone down the sheerness. And the other color, which is May, is much more opaque since it is a cream. So I did paint it on my fingers to show you. This one right here is Morning Rose, which is more sheer. This is both two coats. And then this one is May. So it's much more opaque and it shows up a lot better. So I think it's actually much more beautiful than Morning Rose on the toes because it's more bright. Alright, so the next one is June, which is the beautiful light coral, pastel coral. Um, I guess it's not even coral, it's actually it's a cream orange and I absolutely love this because I've been in search for the perfect orange. And I don't like something that's too orange because it does make my skin tone look more dark, but this actually makes my skin tone look more softer and just tan. So I do like that. The Orange Fizz is extremely similar in the texture since it's both creamy textures, but the other one, Orange Fizz, Orange Fizz is a lot more um, orange, and this is more of a light pastel orange. And I think this is a must-have because this one you can't really find in any other brands. It's hard to do. I do have a color that's similar, which is, um, I believe, an OPI Osaka orange or something like that, similar to something in Japan. And it's a beautiful orange, but it's a little bit more orange. I haven't found anything that is this opaque and beautiful and um, pastel light. It's a very wearable orange. This is the June one. I had to save the best for last because it is the star of the collection. It is the what is inspired the rest of the collection is based on this one item, and it's the blush. Horizon de Chanel and it's so beautiful but the price is not so beautiful. It is $68 which is so beyond the blushes from Chanel are usually only $48. This blush is just so beautiful. It's in the regular packaging for Chanel blushes and this is how it looks like. It's beautiful. It has um, matte coral a very shimmery sheen type of pink, a pastel pink, a plum color, the same pink, a highlighting white that does show off a little bit like a highlighter color, and then the last color is also the pink. So it's just a different type of multicolor blush. I love those mosaic blushes because they do give you a different color, and again, that dimension effect that when you put on your cheeks, it does give you that contour look, but at the same time gives you a beautiful just flush of color. 
So I do love this in the fact that um, it is a lot of money. I think um, it's not a must have just because it's not a unique color. I find that um, you can find dudes for these. But just the fact that if you are a collector and you like these type of um, packaging for Chanel and those limited edition, then I do think this is a great product to splurge on. But I wouldn't just purchase this just for an everyday blush. Um, this does come with a velvet pouch like all of the blushes that are from Chanel. But what's also special is that it actually comes with a brush and a pouch for the brush to keep the brush from, you know, contamination and dust. But I do like using this angled brush with the blush because it does work well. The only complaint that I do have is, of course, the price and also the fact that it does have a lot of fallout when you are brushing the brush onto the blush. Dang, say that three times fast. So yeah, that is all the products that I purchased from the spring collection that I wanted to share with you guys and also the products that I think are going to be a great hit with a lot of people because they're more wearable. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and that you felt that it was very helpful. If you want to see more reviews, please subscribe above and also if you've miss some of my Chanel reviews, please check out my channel. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoy this and I will see you in my next video. Bye!